Do you know the fantastic and marvelous history of the smallest world woman? Here's the story. Lucia Zarate, 1864-1890, was born in San Carlos, today the area encompassing the town of Ursulo Galvan, Veracruz, and settled on the Agostadero, now Sampla, Veracruz, Mexico. Is the first person to have been identified with my dysplastic primordial dwarfism type II. She was entered into the Guinness World Records as the largest recorded adult, weighing 4.7 pounds, 2.1 kg, at the age of 17. According to an 1894 article in Strand Magazine, Zara achieved her full growth by the age of one year. Currently in September 2011, the property known as Casa Grande, Big House, where she lived with her family, has been opened to the public as a museum of history. At the age of 12, Zarit moved from her native Mexico to the United States, where she was exhibited for her small stature. An 1876 factbook published by Oxford University discussed a visit to Zarit paid by several medical professionals, who could not certainly verify that she was 12, but could ascertain through her dental development that she was at least 6. At the time, her height was measured at 20 inches, 51 centimeters, tall and her calf was measured as 4 inches, 100 mm, in circumference, 1 inch, 25 mm, more than the thumb of an average adult man. She was with her parents at the time and found to be healthy and intelligent, able to speak some English along with her native Spanish. She first worked as part of an act built as the Fairy Sisters, later partnering with Francis Joseph Flynn, built under the stage name General Might, to exhibit internationally. In 1889, she was billed in the Washington Post as the marvelous Mexican midget and described as a tiny but all-powerful magnet to draw the public. When her circus train became stranded in snow in the Sierra Nevada Mountains in 1890, Zara died of hypothermia.